Hi, welcome to my channel. It was a foggy and rainy and misty day and so I thought I would make a video of my drive to the thrift store Habitat for Humanity and show you guys how beautiful it was. I am at the Habitat for Humanity Restore Store, Restore Store, in Mississauga. Uh, they keep sending me messages about wall decor and mirrors being 50% off and rugs being 30% off. I've never bought a rugs from a thrift store. I don't know if I'm ever going to, but let's see. You never know. I'm just gonna check it out. See if they have some epic mirrors or something. <laughs> Alright, hope you guys enjoy. I think Habitat for Humanity is the best place to find home decor and furniture for your own home because regardless of how high I think the prices are because I'm a reseller, the prices are actually very reasonable if you were buying for yourself. Imagine buying a whole table for $80 <laughs> or a couch or a dining table for $300 versus all the expensive ones that I've seen online. So I thought I found a vintage jewelry box, but it was from Home Sense for $14 and they were selling it for $10, so I left it behind. Look at all these cabinets and dressing tables. It's like you can't go wrong. If you see the one on the right, this one is very in right now. If you were to paint it black and leave the wood wooden inside, it's been it's all over TikTok and everywhere. It looks gorgeous. I also like that there's so much furniture that is compact so you can put it in a smaller home. There was so much artwork, mostly contemporary, but yes, some older frames and older paintings as well. Look how cute this cart is. Great for backyard decor for the spring. It was, I believe, $50, but again, if I was buying for my home, why not? These wicker chairs, this bench I really liked, and I love the legs on that bench. So I came over to look at the chairs, they were in such good condition, and both of them were for $100. Usually one of these is for $100 look how beautiful this peacock chair is it was only 80 dollars i have seen some peacock chairs that were not this pretty for way more on marketplace if i had a wedding rental decor thing uh, business i would have totally picked this up and then rented it out for 80 bucks a day that's easy when somebody wants to buy something for their wedding i thought i saw a nice cute mirror there was a little girl on it it was a bit creepy so i didn't bother here's the bench it's beautiful if i was still painting furniture i would have totally grabbed it but i need a way more space in my home look at all these beautiful contemporary pieces they were all new like with tags i think a business went out of business and <laughs> they donated all their stuff. Here are the old frames. I was looking for something epic to pick up. A lot of these paintings were old and very pretty. This bird wasn't really a painting. It was like a decoupage version of a painting. Very pretty. Lots of contemporary and abstract art, and I was trying to figure out what this frame is, uh, but it was on this side, and it was like a weird 
form of contemporary art. This painting was so beautiful. I don't know if it's the green contrast in the back, but it was popping. And it was an original oil painting. I should have probably looked at that embroidery art a little more. <laughs> Pretty unique frame and some Indian art, but it was kind of falling apart, so I left it. So many tables and chairs and coffee tables and side tables, you name it, there's so much going on here. I like this trunk but seemed a little haunted like you would hide a body in there. So this um, half moon table is from I think Bombay and it was listed for $80 here but I would probably pay $50 only for it and then repaint it. Look at all this decor. Once again I think it's that business that is no longer in business and they just donated everything. This bowl was at the business for $15 and here they have it listed for $5. This one was $8 and the bigger one was, I believe, $15 or not or $10, don't remember. They're very pretty bowls, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I was really tempted to get them, but they're not vintage at all, so. Look at this Pandora's box type box. It did, did not have a key, um, but it looked quite like it would have a puzzle in it or something. Very cool. And look at the record player and the radio. It was really old school, maybe from the 50s or something. I see the brass vase. It's $9 and it was dented from the side, so I did not get it. And I want to apologize for my voice again because I am sick again. <laughs> It said handmade and I believe it was a bunny. I <laughs> couldn't really figure it out for a bit, but it's way too contemporary for me to pick up. There's an MCM ashtray. Don't think I didn't see it. I did see it, but I want to sell my other MCM ashtrays first. <laughs> I have been looking for all clad stainless steel, but I have not been able to find any because they're really expensive in real life. Lots and lots of candle holders. I didn't find anything that was, you know, getting me super excited, so I didn't end up getting anything, but so many options if I really wanted to buy something for my own home. This one was $10 and I would actually sell it for $10, so it was not a good buy for me. Thrift stores are a great place for candles. I keep saying it over and over again and I still believe it. It's a really great place to buy candles. This was a cat paperweight, I guess, but there was like a weird chip on it, so I didn't get it. Lots of beautiful glass and crystal.
this metal beautiful phoenix magazine holder or whatever you want to call it was forty dollars it wasn't a magazine holder i think it's something else maybe to hold all your tools for the fire pit you know something like that a big chest again <laughs> so many dining chairs and dining sets bookshelves you name it they have everything like if you wanted to furnish your home this is an excellent place to do it a drafting table those are usually expensive a child's desk and chair these are really vintage a cute little desk from way back when this one was 70 dollars beautiful wooden table just needed a little bit of wood oil and I think it would sparkle I was looking at these ornaments and they looked glass but they're not they're plastic but they're very pretty, so if you wanted something for your home, this is an excellent place to get it, seriously. I saw these and I make sun catchers and I was thinking, you know, could I add this at the bottom of a sun catcher? But my sun catchers are usually crystal and I didn't want to start adding plastic to it then you know it's just quality wise goes down a little bit <laughs> this was a little wind chime that's a car this tree of life was really pretty but it was uh, it said forever remembered forever missed so i think it was for something to do with maybe the graveyard or a funeral Restore seems to have a lot of packaged goods, so they're very new. So if you were doing gift baskets, this is an excellent place to come and find new things. And you can make identical gift baskets because they usually have many of the same thing. <laughs> what did I say? They have several quantities of the same product. Yes. <laughs> Look at all this pottery, it's brand new and very boho, very in style. There's can pedestal candle stands, these pots, they're all identical and pretty. This mirror I saw and I, I liked it, but there was missing, or it was chipped, like there was missing pieces of the mirror on the on the design area. And uh, so I'm looking at these because I'm thinking, you know, they're 50% off. So if I find something really cool, maybe wooden one that I could paint. this arched one I saw on the wall this mirror was the one that you would hang um, behind your buffet this one was $20 so I thought okay I would get it for 10 so maybe I should get it now look behind it to see you know what's going on it seemed like it was painted over but I wanted to see kind of what the age was and if it was good quality look how seriously I'm contemplating and thinking about what to do I really like this round one but it was quite contemporary and it was uh, slightly chipped as well and plasticky so I didn't bother. Uh, this whole set <laughs> seemed quite Asian looking uh, but old also. It was green in color, it was a very unique green. There were so many couches and so many options here including the lamps. I was looking for an MCM lamp, I didn't really find one here. I did see an epic sort of wooden carved wooden lamp which I think would have been quite pretty if I had grabbed it. I'll show you. Okay, here it is and I think there was it had a matching set in the back. 
was actually very pretty and I think it's important like I, I think I know this kind of design we have some velvet chairs these are always good if I um, had space I would grab this and I was I would use my upholstery vacuum and clean it all up and then sell it on marketplace or I would keep it if it went with my living room vibe this wooden floral lamp um, was definitely vintage but not MCM look how cute and tiny this, these velvet chairs were I really like the orange reddish rust one I would say I would take off the skirt at the bottom and I would use my upholstery cleaner to vacuum it really thoroughly and I might keep it like if I if I had space I would grab it okay so I realized that the mirror had been definitely painted on it was like coming off peeling off and it was not it hadn't done a good job and I was like you know what I don't want to spend $20 even if it's for $10 I don't want to spend that kind of money on this mirror Here I found a wall shelf and it was very pretty, golden, just like how I like it. It would have been great for my birthday decor. It was $15. So now wall decor was half half off. So I was like, okay, jackpot, I like this. I'm going to grab it. So here I found a basket of mushrooms and these trinket trays with mermaids on them. The trays are plastic, but I thought they'd be great for the um jewelry show that i'm gonna have in march because the jewelry show is not technically vintage so i could sell these mermaid trays as hair you can put your jewelry in it okay so as you can see look at the phone um haul time uh this store was not the one with the uh, sale on wall decor so I left that gold shelf uh, I was I think $15 I left it um, instead I got the three mermaid trinket boxes <laughs> trinket trays these are plasticky but I think they'll be uh, they'll be okay to sell at the um, the jewelry market that I'm doing in March and there's three of them so for three dollars each I thought this was cute um, and for my daughter I got these mushroom frogs they were three dollars each it wasn't three dollars for the whole set of them <laughs> like I had hoped um, but let me just show you so two of them were the same like this so I got one of these I got one of the yellow ones and one of the red one. Did I find it? And one red one. Obviously, the red one is my favorite. He has a witch's hat. <laughs> um, they're all very cute. I think she will love these because she loves muscles and bras. So, anything to do with them. I think it was an okay haul. Um, prices were a little expensive for my taste um but you know what just because it wasn't on sale i am determined to now maybe go to the other restore and where the, it is 50 percent off and see if i find any cool mirrors okay i will see you in the next video hope you guys enjoyed please remember to subscribe and like and share bye